The Austin is a tier 10 American machine gun who cried to be built only to be rejected multiple times by two different boards and the president himself. Costing more than two forest shamans and your American tax dollars, this ship can devastate anyone if you get her on the bad side. Nonetheless, the main gimmick of this ship is the rapid reload for skill, which decreases her reload time by 75%. Bringing a new definition of a zero damage gameplay. If aircraft carriers or giant pizza boat aren't enough, then you have a new fear to watch out. Having the same reload time as this badger, if you haven't watched my french fries video, this ship punishes any ship who dared to show broadside. Bringing 12 and a half seconds of American freedom at your doorsteps, she can surprise players who are distracted and eventually gets destroyed before they can even react to what is going on, like how the USS Washington take down Kirishima in the Battle of Guadalcanal. However, once the rapid reload is over, your DPM drops down significantly, worse than any light cruiser, rivaling large cruisers, and gets slightly beaten by this colonizer, which now becomes a meme until wargaming fixes her. And we haven't discussed all the bad things on this ship. This is a Super Atlanta class, being as fragile and tier 7 matches, this ship absorbs every round it takes, that is greater than her caliber, destroying her existence like in the first battle of Guadalcanal. And his name is John C you don't want to be the first person spotted, unless you want to repeat history itself. To play this ship, you hug rocks, like literally what all American light cruisers are, even this off-brand ship. You wait until the enemy is committing, and fire your rounds. But hold the rapid reload skill, until they use damage control. Most players will extinguish on their first fire or flood, and after 10 seconds, you pop your reload, and regretting their life choices, while peppering up to 130 emotional damage rounds. EMOTIONAL DAMMIT If you hate passive gameplay like in the Asia server, you can flank. You must maintain trigger discipline, and never be trigger happy. Best if paired with a destroyer or a cruiser, you can provide fire support to give fires, while reducing their attention towards you. Once you reach your concealment range between you and the battleship, you commit. Drop torpedoes and wait until they either use damage control, or below half of their health. Just remember when flanking, there will be a destroyer there so take them down early on and dodge wet hot dogs on the way. However, if you are cocky, and lost your health below 9000, this is where they begin to bring fear to them. Turning from passive to aggressive playstyle, you launch armor jet, taking down every one you see on your sights. Treat as the enemy is your demon and your role is to rip and tear everyone until it is done.
Double kill. Triple kill. Overkill. Kill. Tacula. This is how you build your Doom Slayer. First, you will need William Ball's housing and invest in these skills, especially this skill. And if you feel lucky or very skilled, take this as well. For equipment, take main battery modification 2, propulsion modification 1, and concealment system modification 1. Then grab refined diesel, improved crew rations, and high grade coal. For the bonus, grab the Elite Gun Operator and the Historic Camouflage. The Austin, the ship that is cute on the outside, but a true demon's lair on the inside. You don't want to have her below 9000 health, so it is best for a battleship to quickly finish the job. And beware if you see them having a crack can unleash metal, especially in Respawn or Blitz Royale, where chances are high. Although everyone won't see what is happening, they will see fear is you.